Hello friends, Coolio here and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we are checking out a brand new idol hero collector called Nonstop Agents. And I've noticed in 2019, the genre of idol hero collectors has kind of like exploded this year. Like it's become pretty popular. Like AFK Arena is probably one of the most popular ones that you guys probably know about. And this game is really, really similar to AFK Arena. Now, one thing I do want to point out is I am playing this in landscape. I kind of figured out finally how to take these portrait games and move them into landscape for recording on YouTube to hopefully make the videos look a little bit better. If you guys like it like this, let me know down below in the comments or if you guys want me to go back to doing like the portrait with my overlay on the side, let me know. But here we go, we're in Nonstop Hero. Now, if you guys have ever played an idle hero collector, basically these are the types of games that your progression comes from not playing the game, which is kind of a weird concept. It works for AFK Arena, it works for this game, but basically your characters will automatically just kind of attack whatever stage you're currently on, and they will gather up this loot. When you come back into the game, you go ahead and you gather it, you get energy, you get experience points, you get gold, which you can then use to upgrade your various heroes. And so the whole point of the game is if you get to a point where you can't get past a certain stage, then just don't play the game for a couple of hours or for the day, come back a little bit later and you'll have the resources that you need to then go through and power up your characters. And so it's an interesting gameplay mechanic. I think a lot of people will probably enjoy it because for people that don't have a whole lot of time, and to be honest with you, this is actually a pretty good version of it, but it is very, very similar to AFK Arena. I'm gonna be comparing it to that game a lot because that one's kind of like the golden standard for a lot of these idol hero collectors. Now, as your characters are going through, like I said, they'll gain loot, uh, you know, gold coins, energy, and stuff that you can use to power up your characters. You can also gain loot. As you go through, you acquire different loot pieces that you can equip onto your character. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do in this game, by the way. I am currently rank 44, and I haven't even unlocked like half the things that you can do in this game. There is a lot. Now, this is a task board. This is ba basically like daily tasks that you can go through that you can send out your units to uh, acquire different materials. The evolution altar, which is you can eventually power up and get really, really powerful versions of certain units. You've got the space time circle, which is sort of like an interesting summoning system where you can summon on specific uh, faction banners if you're looking for a very specific type of character. You've also got your basic summons. You've got your will of fate. The will of fate basically gives you uh, little coins that you can use to spin it and get certain materials. You've got your gate of recall, which is a great place to get certain materials. So like if you have heroes that you don't need anymore, you can go through and disassemble them and get certain materials that you can use to power up your other heroes. You've got your foundry system, which is as you collect weapons and stuff, basically it's a very linear progression system. So as you get more of these axes, you can upgrade them. And once you have a certain amount of two star axes, you can then turn it into this one. So you get three of them, there you go. And then once you get these, you can go ahead and upgrade those. And then again, once you have enough of those, you can upgrade into that. And so then it slowly upgrades your weapons, making them more and more powerful. You do get quite a lot of them. Uh, quite a lot of new weapons and stuff as you simply just play through the game too. Um, this game also, I, I do want to let you guys know, this game has a pretty, I'm going to say it straight up, a pretty heavy pay to win VIP system in it. To be honest with you, the VIP benefits, like they get absolutely ridiculously crazy. And for uh, an idle game, it all comes down to like time, like how long you spend in that idle game. And you get, for this one, you get a whole bunch of Wheel of Fate draws, agent slots, 400% extra bonus gold, more XP, space time energy and stuff from auto battles. It's, it's kind of up there. And I was a little bit disappointed at first, but then I began to realize the game actually does give you quite a lot of free stuff simply just by playing through the game even if you're not a VIP, and there's a lot of VIP systems that will be unlocked once you hit, I think it's about level 80, and it doesn't really take a lot of time. Like, I just started playing yesterday, and I'm already ranked 44, so I'm not gonna be super complaining about it, and with a lot of these idle games, again, you're probably not gonna be spending a whole lot of time, you're just be jumping in here and there. So let's actually go in, and I'll show you some of the uh, more interesting gameplay mechanics. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the challenging battle system. I'm currently in this stage, and it's freaking hard. This is actually, a stage I've been slowly kind of working on and trying to get past. Let me go ahead and move some of my units around. Uh, I want him down here. Actually, or up there. Okay. So you have two frontline units and you have four backline units. That's how the system works in this one. Then you've got your enemy team over here. These guys are actually pretty tough, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat them, but I did just barely go through and really power up my team. So hopefully, we'll be able to get past the stage. Now, the times two speed unlocks right as soon as you start the game, so you don't have to like, be a VIP to get the times two bonus, which I do like, I really appreciate it. Plus there's a lot of skipping mechanics in this game where you can skip through a lot of content to get the rewards that you need in order to power up your units. Now every unit has special ultimate abilities, passive abilities, 
as their uh, energy bar fills up just below their name, they'll be able to activate those special abilities. So there we go. Victory, we got some four star shards, which we can use to summon four star characters. Energy to level up our characters, XP for our account, and some gold as well. There we go. So we just completed that area. We can now go to the next chapter. It'll show us the chapter stage. There is a lot of chapters. Like, I think it goes all the way up to 54. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of content to be going through in this game. Now, not only do you have your main campaign, you've also got your adventure mode. Now, the realm challenges is sort of like your daily things that you need to come in. You got your golden realm, your space time realm, and your soul realm. These are basically, you know, gold, you get souls, you get uh, this energy crystals that you can use to power up and level up your characters. It's a really simple thing. Like if you've played gotcha games before, you know what these are. You've also got the arena, which again is, you've seen it in other games. You basically just go up against randomized opponents. You can battle them. You need tickets in order to go into it. You can buy the tickets with gold. You come in, you can set up your defensive lineup against enemies and enemies will come in and attack you. And then there's daily and seasonal rewards that the game will send to you. Uh, I haven't unlocked these two things yet, but there's again, I'm still, I'm only ranked 44 yet. There's so much stuff I'm still learning to unlock in this game. The Galactic Trials is sort of like your endless tower system as you continually move your way up. Now with the uh, Galactic Trial, it gets progressively harder, but this is where that skipping thing comes into play. So when you go to battle something, you can actually say, hey, do you wanna skip this battle? So for instance, if I go ahead and send in all of my units, go ahead and move stuff around, make sure I've got my uh, stuff set up the way that I want. I can go ahead and get, click skip battle, hit fight, and then it'll tell me that I won. I beat it, I got the, I got those materials. Let's go ahead and do it again. Battle, fight, skip, look at that. I won, I got a new, brand new unit. Again, the game does give out a lot of free stuff, which I found to be actually really impressive. I didn't think it really would do that. Look at that, even more things that I need. Now this is like the main area that you're gonna get these special orbs. These space-time stones are used to break through your units when they reach certain thresholds, which I'll show you in just a little bit, but go and fight that one, get a couple more of these materials and compete and defeat. So this is the stage that I'm gonna have to go through and currently kind of work on uh, upgrading and uh, increasing my character's levels and stuff like that. So the floating fortress is sort of like your passive, like passive currency uh, increment. Is that the word I'm thinking of? As you come in here, you can get Christ you get premium currency. You have increases to certain energies that you uh, uh, you get. You can upgrade your fortress. It's sort of like a little town hall that you can go through and come back in every day and just collect resources. This, I don't know what that is, but the Battle Valhalla, this is kind of a fun little game mode that I just came in to today. Basically, this is sort of like your endless grinder. As you go through this, your heroes actually will not regain their health. And if heroes faint, then they're done for. But there are special statues that you can go and you can pray at. You can use them to, for instance, heal. Let's say if I wanted to heal one of my units, like my tank guy, I can spend three of these specific icons. I don't know exactly what they're called. Uh, Valor badges that you can go through and heal them back up as you progress through these stages and hopefully be able to get to the final boss. So I did actually want to go through and challenge this with you guys um, to see if we can't take down the final boss. Because I'm almost... I'm almost done with this one. Uh, where's my one guy at? There he is, okay. Skip battle, fight. Okay, we just beat that one. Now we're at the boss. I'm not gonna skip the battle on this one, but this is the final fight. So we're gonna see if we can actually take this one down. I don't know if we're gonna be able to, because I haven't actually been paying attention to the auto battles. I've just kind of jumped in and uh, just started fighting, which I don't think we're gonna take it down. No! I don't know you guys, I don't know. If my one character survives, I would be really, really impressed. I have noticed too that five star characters in this game are ridiculously OP, like ridiculously OP in this game. Is this, is this gonna be an endless battle? Okay, so we ended up losing, we lost, and so if we want, we want to go back through, we're gonna have to resurrect these characters. But seeing how far you end up going through, you do acquire chests, and the chests will be opened up, and you can, or you can use these specific tokens to open up the chest to get special materials. And so you can come back through every single day and challenge this and try to get as far as you possibly can. Now let's actually talk about the heroes themselves and go through and actually progress a couple of these guys. Uh, like I said, five-star heroes are crazy good. They're insanely powerful. Uh, there's a couple of different tribes that you can that your characters are from. If you have certain, um, if you have certain team builds, that have a certain amount of 
characters from certain tribes, you get special bonuses to your overall team. There's also different classes, the like priest, that's the wild priest, wilderness tribe, mage. We've got the dark disciples and he is a mage character. We've got ourselves a castle alliance. He is a warrior. You can go through, you can level them up. Right now I'm leveling this guy up. You need to get those crystals, like I said before, as well as some gold. Hold this down to level them up if it'll do it. Sometimes it doesn't do it for me. There we go. Level 60, we're gonna have to break through. We're gonna need more of those specific stones to do that. Um, we can break through this guy though. Let's go ahead and break through him. He's at tier three. And as you go through and you actually break through these different characters, they will unlock these special abilities on the side. So the first one, they always have this first active skill. And then I think it's like either their first or second time breakthrough, they get their passive ability, passive skill, armor break plus 40%. And then once they get through this guy, once I get him to tier four, he gets a new passive skill called reap. Whenever a foe dies, increase self crit by 15%. So pretty standard fare for a hero collector, idle hero collector coming in and just upgrade these characters, waiting for your team to go through and you know, get more and more of these resources. Let's go ahead and uh, do some summons. I did spend and get a couple of these things. I don't know if I have enough to buy another one. I don't. So we're going to have to do, I'm going to do um, our basic summon because I got 10 of these tickets. Now, I actually was surprised to find out that even the basic summons, you can get five stars, but the summoning rate is actually fairly low. Let's go look at it. The odds. So basic summon, there's a 0.05% chance to get a five star, a 1.45% chance for a five star. Now I actually did end up getting a four star uh, through the basic summon. The agentic summon, which is like the, the premium summon, there's a 20% chance for a four star, a 1.58% uh, chance for a five star. It's a little bit on the lower end. So let's go ahead, head back, and we'll go ahead and do a couple of these agentic summons and see if we can't get anything good. We got little Robin Hood dude. Okay, more three stars. I ended up doing a 10 times summon on this agent. Oh my gosh. We actually ended up getting a five star. Wow, okay. That's that's great. <laughs> that actually works out really good. A okay, three star. Again, that's less than a 2% chance to get a five star. And then we got ourselves a four star. Now the four stars are pretty good, but five stars are ridiculously powerful. Like they give you a five star healer like right at the beginning. She is so good. She's like helped me get past so many different stages like just by herself. I think, okay, so that's it right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at our new five star character. She is right here. She's part of the green realm. She's got arrow barrage, deals 71% of attack damage against all enemies, dealing an extra 25% attack damage per round for three rounds. Okay, I've got a character similar to that. She actually has three extra abilities. Emerald Tiger, passive skill, uh, HP plus 20%, armor plus 24%. She might be a really good character to add as a defensive character on my team. Uh, whenever an ally crit strikes, restores self 35% attack. That would be really good with that one character that I have. And poison armor, when taking damage, reduces the target. 10% of armor break and burns it, dealing 24% of attack damage per round for six rounds. So pretty cool, War Goddess Tina. They do have quite a lot of heroes to collect in this game, um, but a lot of them, again, are just like the same version of themselves, just like upgraded. So like there's this guy right here, and then there's the one star purple version of him. I know I just saw him somewhere. Oh wait, am I thinking, whatever. Whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. I have this guy. And they have them differently from him before, so there you go. Four star version, and look at that, five star version. So how many heroes do they actually have? I don't know. But there you guys go, that is non-stop agents. I've been actually having a lot of fun with this game. I'll probably continue to play it over the next couple days, couple weeks. It's not one that takes a whole lot of time. You jump into here and there, collect your rewards, try to get past the next stage, upgrade your heroes, and then come back the next day. So you guys go, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys wanna see more videos for this game or have a recommendation of a game I should check out, let me know down below in the comments. And guys, thanks so much for watching. My name's Coolio, and I'll see you next time.